Hello and welcome to this video um, and today we're going to be looking at the um, NCE USB interface um, as you can see in front of you. Um, basically I got this about two weeks ago thereabouts um, and it took me the best part of a week to get it working properly on and off. Um, I think probably the main problem was um, the, the sheet that came with it, the information sheet, um, was out of date. It's dated 2012. Um, so what you need to do is go onto the NCE website and download the latest one um, because it will make your life a lot easier. Um, I think the biggest problem that I had with the sheet that came with it, um, there was no details on there about what to do um, with jumper number one. Uh, you can see all of these jumpers here. Um, when you get it, um, all of these are in the off position so they're not actually connecting anything. Um, and you need the information sheet to see which jumpers you need to put in the right place um, for the system that you've got. Um, now I've got um, the NCE power cab um, without a booster or anything like that. Um, so um, on the the sheet it will tell you which position to put these into. Now on the original one that I had there was no info on there that I could find about where jumper one should be positioned. Um, basically jumper one um, controls the speed uh, or the board rate that this board will talk to the computer or the computer will talk to the board. Um, I think if it's off it's 9600 and in the on position it's 19200. Um, double check on the sheet there, I think that's that's about right. Um, and then um, jumpers 2, 3 and 4 basically tell it which system you've got. Um, I had that um, the info correct for those, but the speed, this one I didn't realise was for the speed setting, so um, that's what was causing me lots of problems. Um, it just wouldn't connect. Uh, well, it the system recognises it, but um, JMRI, if you're using that, um, it will just it'll be the um, the description for the um, USB adapter will be red. Um, to say that it's it's not connecting. Um, so yeah, you you need to get the latest one so you can see how this is all connected up properly. Um, basically, this goes off to my NC panel, um, and that one there is the USB connection. Um, once you've got that bit figured out, it's that's it. It's, that's the only difficult part is these jumper settings. Um, you may well find it easier than what I did. Um, um, I suppose I'm a typical bloke that doesn't like reading instructions, um, but once I've, you know, once you've tried this a few times, you're not getting anywhere. Uh, you soon go back to those instructions and uh, see what's what's going wrong. But like I say, um, my ones uh, was out of date. Um, seems a bit of a shame that they don't put the the latest one in, but maybe the the one I purchased uh, has been stuck on a shelf for God knows how many years. Um, but yeah, um, pretty much if you get those jumper settings uh, correct, um, you shouldn't have any issues with it. Um, I'll uh, sign off for this video and I'll leave the uh, setting up JMRI for the, for the next video rather than make this one too long. So into the next video, see you later.